It is fine, thank you. Cheers. A double celebration, seeing as you and Tony have been playing tonsil tennis. We have not. It was... Nothing. How's Agatha? Fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, oh, come on! What is your problem? Gridlock! We are in the middle of nowhere! Don't tell me. There's a little hedgehog crossing the road, is there? Sake! Some of us do have lives to lead. Sort of. Out of the car, please, madam. Out of the car, please. Now. Are you and Tony a thing, or is this some sort of tactical retreat going on? Hmm? You like her, right? Of course I do. So, what's stopping you? What? It's because you lot walked in, and I've not seen her since. I don't know how she felt about that. Charles? Who are we hiding from? Sarah. She's... She's helping to organise this thing. She's like a woman obsessed. Just can't get back soon enough. Well, he's back this week. Is he? Oh, at last. I mean, what kind of man leaves his wife on her own for so long? Hmm? I mean, all that untapped, repressed energy has to go somewhere. And at the moment, it's going towards making me man the... Tombola? You said you'd do it. Sarah. Yes, I said I might. Bill's been promoted. Oh, that's great news. Congratulations. Yes, we have to call him Sarge now and do everything he says. Oh, well, in that case, can you tell Charles that he has a muck in it in the fair, please? Sarah, I would love to help, you know, but, um, all that turning of the, uh, plays havoc with my RSI. Well, our tombola doesn't have a handle, so there's nothing to turn. It's just a large container that you reach into, feel around the wood shavings, and find a present. Ah, well, there you are, you see. Wood shavings. I'm allergic. <coughs> Roy, is that you? I know, I look like I've been dug up. Are you okay? Sad. Oh, you heard then. Still very good of you to jump on the first plane. No, sad. SAD, seasonal affective disorder. It's like ice out there. I had to leave. It's playing havoc with my skin. Why, what's up with you lot? Oh, James and Agatha have split again. Well, of course they have. It's a day with a Y in it. No, really, we think it's for good this time. Nail, coffin, hammered. Mm, yeah. Always about Agatha, isn't it? Excuse me. <laughs> When did they start doing three-point turns in country lanes? Here we are, Mrs. Raisin. Dangerous driving. Dangerous what? I wasn't even driving. You were leaning out of your vehicle, engine on, hands off the steering wheel, and consequently not in control of your vehicle. I was merely trying to ascertain what the problem was, officer, which is what you should be doing. Back in your car, please. You back in your box, buster, or you shall be hearing from my lawyers. Are you threatening me? Because if you want to add threatening behaviour towards an officer of the law, please go right ahead. See you soon, Mrs. Raisin. Preferably over your dead body. Oh, get over yourselves. Oh, I might have known. Aggie! Aggie! It's me! Oh, God. God, for a minute there, I thought you hadn't seen me. Driving lessons going well then, are they? Ooh, stop frowning. You'll make these weird eyebrow folds worse. Uh, eyes road, please. Listen, don't you start giving me tips. I'm an excellent driver, I shall have you know. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. 
That is right. Could teach you a thing or two, Miss 63 Point Turn. Beach is known for being relentless, and he'll stop at nothing to maximise his results. Well, I don't care. You can tell him that he has met his match from me. Careful, Agatha. He loves taking people to court. He gets some weird kick out of it. Cocktail time! Does somebody say cock? Tails. a shame. Oh, if it isn't my little jet-lagged sad sack back from the dead. Catch. Definitely don't need any more sad. Absolutely not. James Schmaint. Forget him. Don't let him be some sort of love terrorist who takes your heart hostage whenever he wants. Look, it's going to suck a lot. And it'll suck a bit, and then it'll suck a little less, and then it won't suck at all. Sounds like quite a lot of sucking, though. The sisterhood is really powerful. Mention of the sisterhood is never a good sign. So get back down your neck and move on. I'll drink to that. And to promotion. Thank you. I'm talking of getting things down your neck. Right. Spill them beans. What's going on? No way. I thought we were going out. Yeah, yes, we are. Come on, like, come on, let's party. At the Winter Parlour Fair. There's a hog roast and everything. Count me out, I can't do a hog roast because I am vegan. Well, no wonder you're all sad. I know what you're like when you've not had any meat. Cheap. Do not make the first move. I won't. The pain hard to get. Pretending like nothing happened. That's my girl. Roy, is this all really necessary? I do feel very weak, Aggie, and you did insist on me being here tonight. I mean, it's hardly Fifth Avenue, is it? Oh, Tony, you should have brought some of those little cakes you bake. Uh, no, not a good idea. <coughs> Roy? <coughs> Roy, you OK? What is that smell? Gourmet sausage stand. Yes, we're vegan now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think I've just spotted something that looks far more interesting. That is right up my boulevard. <laughs> roll up! Roll up! Roll up, ladies and gentlemen! Shouldn't you be over there, Mum? Eh, no rush. You see Tullock's got it in hand. Listen, I've been thinking. I've been thinking a strategy. OK. I think you should play hard to get. Always works. Whatever you do, don't make the first move. I think slot for cops that way, Tony. Tony? Tony? Come on, Chef Coco, what do you want? Dish one Cesare, spit roast now. On it, Miss Richards. And can we speak only English tonight, please? Of course, Mrs. Richards. Kiedy kolejna dostawa? Jutro. Kierowca wie co robić? Musi to pod kontrolą. Thank you. Great turnout for you. Oh, so far so good. Thank you so much for all your help. Bunty and I couldn't have done all this without you. Don't be silly. I'd be the first to tell Jez what a godsend you've been. I can't wait to see him. Oh, well, believe me, nor can I. <laughs> She's quite right. You're a star, Sarah. Hello, <laughs> Yeah, you both are. Oh, hi there. Welcome. Come on in. Enjoy. It's all for sale. <laughs> Except the wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bill. <clears throat> well, come on, everyone. Photo booth! Oh, Roy, 
Roy. Roy, look, I think I've just spotted something that's going to make you feel a whole lot better. Oh, yeah, check out the hunks. Wow. Tony, take me to the meat. <laughs> Madam, I'll let you know as soon as you can go. I look forward to that. Though you did tell me that an hour ago, hmm? Well... They promise they are going to let us go very soon. But think! Who wanted him roasting and why is he missing his head? Could be a she. Yes, it could be. A hairy, breathless woman from a circus. Look, Aggie, I'm really not feeling very well, and it's been a very long night. So we're investigating, even though no one's actually hired us. It's never stopped me before, has it? Anyway, I'll take my mind off of other irritating, pathetically small, piddling little things. Fair enough. <sighs> James. I mean, it's all a bit public, isn't it? No one was actually going to cook and eat a human torso, will they? They wouldn't be so sure around here. What was that thing you ate at the summer ball, Charles? Ah, lamb's brains with cumin and hummus. You see, I think it was a statement. A warning. All right, all right. They can all go home as soon as I say so. Not one second before. Understand? Understood, Chief. Sandwich. Anything from the statements? <laughs> Statements. Oh, I know you're keen, DS Wrong, first case of sergeant and all that, but I think we need to ascertain the identity of the victim before we look into his financial situation. I meant from all the witness statements we've been taking. Uh, yeah. Very clever. Oh, you, you'll be wanting to lead the investigation next. Well, I'd love to, if you'll let me. Be my guest. Really? Yes, but I shall be auditing your progress, DS Wong. Maybe it'll stop you fraternising with the natives for once, if you know who I mean. Of course, sir. Oh, 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 and it gives me a chance to go al fresco. In deep, melt in with the crowd, blend in with the fishes. You know what I mean? Not really, no. Oh, bacon. Lovely. OK. So someone needs to check out that pair of night. Oh, Kel surprise. Charles, can you check out with the organisers? Sarah's friend and her husband with that ridiculous name. Bunchu. Ha. Uh, yeah, him. See if maybe the event itself was targeted. And Bill, I need you to check with police records. See if we can find Actually, out Actually, Agatha, I can't. Yeah, yeah, don't be silly. If we can find... I uh, can't mm. because Wilkes has asked me to lead the investigation. Huh. <laughs> oh, Bill, that's great. Congrats. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, and he's also asked me not to talk to you. Yeah, but he always says that. Seriously, Bill, I need you to check no. if you can. <clears throat> I really think it's better if I don't this time, and I'd appreciate your support and cooperation in that. Bill! Mm. Bill, Bill, Bill. Pigs will fly before that's going to happen, and you know as well as I do that you can't solve murders without me. I can try. Shh. Can everyone hear that? That is the sound of a gauntlet being thrown down. Good one. Are we going a mano a mano, Sergeant Wong? It's not a competition, Agatha. It's a murder investigation. I'll take that as a yes, then. Just you give it your best shot, Billy boy. Oh, gauntlet, please. She means the glove. 
she does. Right, come on then, let's step to it. The fruits are gloving. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. What are you going to do, boss? Hmm? I'll think of something. Driver. Just walk. Those animals look just like pigs. Can we help? You need anything? Sausage. Spit roasting. Oh, yeah. Um, wow, well, sorry. Um, it's a bit of an eye opener. Um, the body, I mean, the head. You know, the man with the pig's head? That, isn't it? Any idea where it might have uh, come from? We just follow orders. We take from the chillers as told. Why? No reason. It was delivered to yesterday by a regular company. Right, well, um, I think that covers it. Roy? Huh? Anything you want to ask? Phone number. In case you remember anything. In fact, I'll give you my number if I can find a, a pen. Oh, yeah, there's one there. Get some I paper. Mean, oh, I can give you mine. I can write it on me. Yeah. I may be not here. Miss Richards won't like that. You can write it there. Write it on his midriff. It's normal. I'm Tizian. It's my brother Cesare. We are here from Poland. I'm um, I'm Tony, and this is Roy. Really pleased to meet you. Gonna stay or are you gonna come? I'm literally coming. I just don't understand why anyone would do such a thing. Nor do I. Do you, Bunchy? No, of course not. <laughs> why would I? Don't make sense. Sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Richards. Perhaps we could interview you now. Yes, I think we're finished. photo booth outside. I wonder if that caught anything. Could be worth a try. Oh, God, it's just terrible, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. What do you mean? Um... Mm. Oh. Charles, did you just move away from me? No, 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 of course not. Why would I do that? <laughs> well, I don't know, but you did. Why? 
Truth? Always. <clears throat> Hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. This is not your house on account of the fact that you broke in round the back. <clears throat> right. Who are you? Hair, nails, way too high maintenance to be a burglar. Yeah? What's your game? What's your name? What's your word? Amy. Well then, Amy. Oh. Amy as in tattooing a dead man's torso with a pig's head, Amy. Yeah. Amy Beach. Beach? Beach as in a fish's copper from hell, Beach? <gasps> oh! That's who's... What are you for? Yeah, Gary Beach, my ex-husband. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Mm. Although on the plus side, it does mean that I'm off the hook with a fine, so, you know, silver linings and all that. Oh, don't look at me like that. We both know what he was really like. Where is it? It's in my hand. Oh, right, well, give it to me and I'll stick it in before it goes down. Holy Mary, Mother of God. We're just looking for surveillance. Never heard it called that before. Ah, there's a photo booth camera. Grab it before it goes down. So why not just tell the police? Hmm? Why hot foot it down here? I was scared. I thought whoever killed Gary would come after me. Why? Hmm? Why would they come after you? You're just the ex-wife, after all. Unless, of course, you were searching for something. I wasn't. I just thought I might find some clues as, as to who did this. Really? So, you weren't perhaps searching for a little something, found that little something and popped that little something into your pocket, perchance? You're good, Mrs. Raisin. I heard reports, but to see you in action. <laughs> it's impressive. You're hired. What? I need to know who killed Gary and what he was up to. He was always pleading poverty, but recently he was flashing the cash and he has something stashed in a storage unit. You in or what? Ooh, very nice. The way you could afford this on a PC salary. He always got aggressive and questioned him about money. Don't. Monitoring your progress, Sergeant. Act like I'm not here. Easier said. I thought you were going to blend in with the fishes. Yeah, let me worry about the fishes. 
scratching? No, thank you. Long shot, I know, but care to explain by any chance? Oh, uh, how I came to discover the identity of the victim, where he lives and presumably where he was killed? Yes. No. But we could charge it. Sorry. DS Wong could charge you with breaking and entering. Oh, could he now? Because I wasn't doing any breaking and entering. That was Amy over there. She of the tattoo fame. And anyway, how come you didn't know that Beecher, the next wife, called Amy? You worked with him. Well, Gary didn't exactly socialise. I didn't even know he had an ex. <laughs> didn't even know he had an ex. Oh, dear. Well, did you? <coughs> Carry on, Sergeant. Right, what was she doing in there? Ask her. We will. But maybe we can at least liaise in the future. Mano. A mano. What and what? Spanish. Spanish. Can I go now? If you're not going to tell me anything useful, then I suppose you can. Yeah, um, Mrs. Raisin, we're going to put you under 24 hour police surveillance. On what grounds? You're a suspect. You were heard by several witnesses wishing the victim ill. Over his dead body, you were heard to say. So, they're going to be watching you. <laughs> Capiche? And that's French. Mm. So, where are we on the suspects? 23,483 and counting. That's the combined population of all the towns Beach policed. He'd pretty much nicked everyone. Oh, right. OK, well, we might need to narrow that down a wee bit. Right, let's start with... The ex-wife, Amy, clearly had expensive tastes and liked the finer things in life. She hired us to investigate. Well, since when did that matter? What about your hunks from Hunkington Hunk? What did you get from them, eh? Eh? <sighs> oh, sorry, you did talk to them, didn't you? Of course we talked to them. What did they say? Can't be completely sure. Charles. What is wrong with them? Tell me you at least found out something from Fiona and Munchy or whatever his name is. Hmm? What? Oh, not you as well. No, I was just thinking about, um, I was just thinking about Jez. You're thinking about Jez? Yeah. He's definitely coming back, isn't he? Jez? Mm. Yes, 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 he's on his way back from Burma or what, the Ganges or wherever it is he's been. Charles, what has this got to do with anything? It just must be really hard for her. Oh, Charles Shagger Wraith, you! Not the vicar's wife! No! No, not the vicar's wife, Agatha. I just care for her, that's all. Do you know what? You're all useless, all of you. I'm going to see Amy and check out Beach's storage unit. I'm cornered. Someone else will have to go instead of me. <sighs> I didn't agree to you two come in. You did hire Mrs. Raisin, and we work for her. <gasps> Please, allow me. Thank you very much. Must be a couple of grand there. That'll do nicely. <laughs> Maybe we can take this. Mm. Fine by me. Is that it? Then you want to find out what he was up to? Well, that's your job, isn't it? This is all I'm interested in. And if you find any more, you let me know. Tra! <laughs> What's in there? I don't know. <laughs> Did you know that Poland is the ninth biggest country in Europe? Uh, no, no, I didn't. And I also don't know how this is going to help us solve a murder, either. You've got to think around a subject, Aggie. Glance to the side in order to find the centre. Ah, oh, yes, like where you were glancing when you were talking to the Polish gentleman. 
You do know the police are outside? Yes. Yep. OK. Uh, anyway, I need some help. Fees rung. There's a cake competition. Only some of the helpers have pulled out, so we need extra hands and cakes. Oh, my God. Poland is home to Europe's largest land mammal, the bison. I bloody love bison. I think you have just found yourself a willing helper for Hollies. Hollies? Plans to the same. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh. Thank you. Righty ho, off we go, and you can take Tony's cakes with you. Whoa, no, 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 no. These aren't, um, no, no, these no, aren't no, 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 nonsense. We need you there, undercover. You need to be my eyes, you need to be my ears. It's perfect. So just take your tush, take your cakes, and just get over there. Now tell me, what did you find in Beach's storage unit? We found this. That is full of lots of coded lists. Letters, numbers. Also, there's a wad of cash that Amy grabbed. That's all she was interested in. We think maybe she's in financial trouble. At last, some progress. You get snooping, and I'll get cracking. Take every entrance name, give them a number, and mark the number on the plate. Stay on the cake stall at all times. Mine aren't actually part of the competition, though, are they? No, 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 they're just for decoration. Very nice they look, too. I must say, I'm rather tempted. I haven't eaten all day. Honestly, there's nothing to write home about. Sarah. You're being modest. Whatever you do, don't eat them. No chance. Got to stay trim. And remember, you're just window shopping today. How do you mean? Uh, hello, you and Bill. So let me do the talking with the boys. Speaking of which, where are those hot pieces of... Titian. Nice to see you. You're looking very, um... Bison-like. Can I ask you a question? What is the name of the village you live in? Do you mean Carsley? Or Manhattan. Carsley, yeah. So good they named it once. Because we didn't know. But I was Listen, one... I need you out back. All right. Now. I've got to go. There are great papers on you. Sarah! Sleepy heads. <laughs> They're awfully good. Would you like a cake? Would you like a cake? Psst. Make sure it's locked and don't tell anyone the code. You need to keep everyone away from the chillers, especially you know who. Yes, I am aware of that. All right, all right. we got problems that's what we've got sarah's handing up my cakes and there's something odd going on in the chillers never mind the cakes what is going on with the chillers i don't know do i if i knew i'd say but i don't so i can't can i all right so why aren't you in there kid well seriously if 
can't do everything. Check the chillers and run this daft kick competition. Mark my words. It's all about to bounce down here. I've got to go. We could work on this case together. Two brains are better than one and all that. What do you say? I've got lots of biscuits. Excellent. After you. This is Raisin. This is Raisin. What's going on? They're off the cakes, is what's going on. Hash cakes, to be precise. I got your message. How come we missed all the fun? I warned you, and nobody listened. They weren't meant to eat my cakes. They're not the worst of it. Check Bloxby out there. You okay? Yes, I'm absolutely fine. In fact, you'll never guess. I have discovered a new colour. It's somewhere in between blue and green. I will call it Conte. Can you see it? Yeah. Just exactly how much has she had? A lot. I am. I think I might have done it on the hash. Really? You don't say it? <sighs> Where are the chillers? Well, next door, but there's a code. Oh! Sarah saw it, didn't you? What? The numbers Bunchy tapped into that keypad. Oh, yes. Yes, of course I did, yes. Well, care to share? Of course. There was definitely a seven. Mm -hmm. And it all goes a bit swirly after that. Sarah! Concentrate! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Maybe a one. Maybe a one. Or was it an umlaut? No. Sarah, mm. I want you to imagine that the baby Jesus is watching you from above. Seven, seven, one, nine. Get in. You know, it really is a waste of police time sending officers to help rescue Wilkes. A word, please. Sergeant? You okay? Cool. Why would anyone kill Amy? Had she worked here long? A few weeks. Needed the extra cash. Can I 
else? Why didn't you want anyone going in the chillers? It's where we keep the champagne and caviar. And we've had some thefts recently. Although we think we know who's responsible. We just can't prove it. They're definitely to something. It's a tragedy. It's a disaster. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I don't want to compete anymore. So, in the spirit of cooperation, Amy Beach was desperate for money. She'd cashed in her pension and taken out her savings. Well, did you know that she'd whipped all the cash from her ex-husband's storage box? She found the key at his house and took the lot. I think we might have a problem. Yeah, not now, Tony. Anything else in this box? Well, there was a... Nobody... Just the money. Just the person I was looking for. One, there were hardly any biscuits. And two, I'm doubling surveillance on you. I get the reason. Don't believe we've met. Constable Tullock. Please, Billy. A fellow Scott from Dumfries, like you, I gather. Absolutely. Good man. So, do you know Maggie? Big Maggie or wee Maggie? Oh, wee Maggie. Oh, Margaret. You want oh, another repartee? <laughs> Crime scene, please. So we're cooperating, are we? No, we are not cooperating. Mm. Right, you know what you're doing with these things. I want you to hack Let's into that. See. see what you can find out. Who is it? Amy Beaches. Oh, it's at the phone for dead body. That's rank. Well, she's not going to be needing it, is she? <gasps> Take it. <laughs> see, that's what I came to tell you. We need to go. Sarah. Just... Sarah, listen to me. You need to sleep. We want you as fresh as a daisy for when Jess gets back. Hmm? Missionary position. Come. Mm -hmm. Hello. Do they mm -hmm. know? What? You stole Amy Beach's phone. No, of course they don't. Oh. Right, well, we need to find out our movements, particularly in the last 24 hours. Ah. Hi there. I don't think we've been introduced. Oh. Bunchy. Hey. Ah. Um, yeah, I wonder if... I, I was wondering if I could ask some PR advice. See, I gather you used to be a bit of an expert. Yes, yes, of ah. course. Step in. Um, in fact, stay outside. We can do our talking as we're walking. Can you make sure you charge up that phone, sweetheart? Yep. Could we please usually follow you around? Yes, it's a protection thing. I'm really worried about the negative effect that the murders are going to have on the rest of the chain. We've just launched in uh, Stratford. Well, there's not a lot you can do, really, you know. Ride out the storm, accentuate the positives. Your name is going to be in all the papers. Everyone is going to have heard of Holly's. Yes, but for all the wrong reasons. Well, not if you deal with it in the right way. There's, of course, one other thing that you could do. Mm. Help me find out who did this. If you are integral to finding the killer, then you could turn what is a PR nightmare into a PR gift. Well, I'll give you every help I can. 
So, uh, let's stay in contact. Let's do that. to, like, um, Pluto. We cannot and will not be bullied. Right, Bill, any information on that box yet? Nothing. It was clean. So was Beach's cottage, a real pro. See? Organised crime. I'm going to end up in bed with a horse. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Rude. Hey, come on, everyone. Just let's get logical about this. Absolutely. Let's go to the French Riviera for two weeks. What could be more logical? I must say I've heard worse ideas. Florida? Yes, please, Miami. No, Amy Beach was going to Florida. That was the dream. That's what she wanted money for. From working at Holly's, from cashing in a pension, from the storage box, and, I don't know, maybe the murderer. Well, how do you know? It was all over her social media. And whose phone is that? Let's not ask. Just this once. Look, properties she'd looked at, job applications, listings, properties, articles on the keys. Any idea why she was leaving? I think she was unhappy. I mean, I still need to work out a timeline of events, but there's so many posts on our social media. I mean, all she ever did. But we all do that. Where's that little black notebook thingy? Oh, um, it got taken. I, um, I got lured outside. What was in this notebook thingy, really? Numbers, letters, sort of in lists. Hang on. I think I can remember them. What? Close your mouth, Bill. Well done. I mean, really, well done. Right, well, I have to get back to the station, but I'll see you later. Yeah. Perhaps I should pop in on Sarah. Charles! Why are you checking on Sarah? Because of what happened with the cakes. Uh huh. I just thought someone should make sure she's okay. And is that it? Is that all? Well, no, it's not all, actually. I don't think she should be on her own at all at the moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jez isn't back yet. And you heard what Bill said. We should all stick together. Oh, really? Yes. So you are going to spend the night with her then, are you? No. But actually, why doesn't she come round here and spend the night with you? Oh. OK. OK. Good. So, Charles. You, uh... You weren't intending to do the... jicky-jicky thing with her then, were you? Agatha! Charles! She's married! Since when has that stopped you? Well... Yeah. There's a first time for everything, you know? Well, a tractor don't just disappear, does it? Everything all right? Yeah. You're there, Miss Richards.
Dobra, to ostatnie. Działa nas? Wszystko ok. Teraz czekamy. Teraz czekamy. When you said you had vital information, I didn't think you meant about a combine harvester. I'll send one of my officers to take a full statement. Okay? No obvious tire tracks. Why would anyone steal farm machinery? We could go farm door to farm door, trying to search for them. That's a lot of farms. In the middle of a murder investigation. And apparently it's not just farm machinery. Harvey Medlicott's Porsche got nicked too. I could be anyone, though. Even I'd think about nicking a Porsche. I know, Harvey. I'll drop in on the way home. Have a word after I'm done here. Right. Sarge? What do you make of what happened to Gary? Do you think it's because he was a copper? You know, pegs and all that? I'm not sure. We're checking past cases, see if there's anything. Do you think he was on the take? Gary was such a stickler. I find that hard to believe. Yeah, me too. What are we going to tell Wilkes about all this? I don't think we bother. He's too busy suspecting Agatha of murder. Thanks, Billy. Lightning, am I? Of course not. <laughs> Have you come to pray? <laughs> Said mine earlier. No, um, we thought that you shouldn't be alone tonight. So I'm here to suggest that you come to Agatha's later. That's very kind, but I ought to stay here for the parishioners. People tend to drop by. They're lucky to have you. Lucky that you've been here for them. Maybe you could come to me instead. Excuse me? Well, then I won't be alone and still be available for the parishioners. Last night of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Okay. Roy a wee bit scared of the bogeyman. <laughs> Reporting for duty, Mrs. <laughs> Raisin. Oh, thank you. Why don't you come in and join us for a wee dram? I won't, thank you. I'm on duty. But you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Does that remind you at home? Yeah, it does a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the chat. Let's get on with it. Well, you know where I'm. <laughs> I do. Thank you. that, isn't it? Billy and I, both from the same place. <laughs> Goodness, I wonder what happened. Well, just as well I lit some candles. Yes. More wine? I'm not sure. Do you think? Why not? Oh, I've got something for you. Really? Mm -hmm. What is it? Hemorrhoid cream. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Are the others OK, do you think? Maybe we should check. I'm sure they're fine. Yes. Yes, yes. <coughs> Silly. I'm sure they're fine. Why not? Fear not. The cavalry have arrived. 
and we have Constable Tullock on guard outside, so we're in good, safe hands. <sighs> Come on, Fred. That's a relief then, isn't it, Charlie boy? Oh, wh what? You know. Everything okay? You tell me. What's with the power? Is it the grid? I'm not sure. They're right inside. Seem to be. Hi. Stay warm. Try. So what do we do now? Sing songs? Come by or anyone? <laughs> I actually have copies of that. Of course you do. Evening all. Room for a small one? I think there's always room for you, Bill. So? What news from the front? Are we under attack? I don't think so. I'm sure it's just a temporary glitch. What in God's hell's name was that? Trucks. In Carsley? In the middle of the night? Army manoeuvres? Can't be. No one's informed the police. Well, should we take a look? No. You stay here, we'll go. Uh, actually, no. I'm coming. You go for it. Stand up for equality, Tony. I'm right with you. Except that I'm not. I'm going to do my bit by staying put. Roy. What? I would like a quiet word with Sarah, please. Well, on your head bit, if I do actually get abducted by aliens. A word? About what? Yes, um... I'm just a little bit concerned... about Charles. Hemorrhoids. Where's your man? I don't know. Billy! Right, we should go look for him. Or go back inside. Well, someone should stay here. I'll stay here. Billy! Roy, you go that way. By myself? Oh, yeah, great. Just bloody marvellous. Could be Manhattan, but no, I just go down here on my own without a torch and just a baguette for company. Tony. Come here. <laughs> Billy? <laughs> Billy, what happened? I don't know. He's just lying there. What? Oh my goodness, are you okay? Aye. Someone came up behind, wiped me with a stone. Oh, let's have a look. Well, you're very lucky you're still in one piece. Skulls of granite, as Scott say. <laughs> How about you, Charles? Me? Yeah. How's your chin? My chin? married woman, Charles, and... You have a new message. One new message. Sarah, uh, Jez. Slight change of plan. Sorry, meant to ring a few days ago. Guess what? Great news. They've extended my post. For at least another six months. So, I won't be coming home. Yet. I hope that's okay. We'll speak soon, yeah? Answer off.
Where's Roy? Uh, where's... Where's Roy? Uh, uh. Still nothing from Roy. Am I hallucinating or are you being nice to me? It's called guilt, Charles. I had no idea for one second that she was going to just... I mean, seriously. I know. What a woman. So you're not annoyed with her? More admiring of her loyalty, actually. You're a bit annoyed with me. Hmm. Well, however misguided it might have been. Yes, well, I know that you don't believe me, Agatha, but my intentions towards Sarah were entirely honourable. Mm. Yes, they were. Anyway, what are we going to do about Roy? I don't know. Well, perhaps he's shacked up with those Polish boys. Well, I hope so. I sent him out there. I told him to follow you, and if I hadn't... That'll be him, saying he's found a new dogging site. It's from his phone. <gasps> Do anything and he's dead, man. Don't suppose you have anything vegan? Roy Silver disappeared last night. We've got officers looking for him, but I think he might have been kidnapped. Right. Well, what are we doing here? Well, Brendan Bagshot had all three of his articulated loaders stolen. So can you articulate for me what an articulated loader actually is? A heavy equipment machine used for loading materials. Demolition debris, quarry stones, gravel, you name it. Basically, they're big, really big. So how come he didn't notice them getting pocketed? Him and his wife wear earplugs. Both big snorers. Thieves can't have known that, though, can they? I can't see how. But it's not the first farm machinery that's gone missing recently. So three of these things just walked off down the street, did they? Unless they were loaded onto something even bigger. Most of Carsley heard rumblings last night. After the village was just conveniently plunged into darkness. No street lighting, no nothing. Uh, so, my original question remains. What are we doing here, and what's it got to do with a kidnapping? Well, what if the two things are linked? What if whoever's stealing the machinery is linked to the killings and Roy's disappearance? Oh, I doubt it. There's always been agricultural crime around this neck of the woods. Now, what you need to do is focus solely on the murder investigation. I am. Now, don't be greedy, son. If I were you, which I'm not, obviously, on account of... Lots of things. Yeah. But if I were you, I wouldn't try to run before I could walk. Do you know what I mean? Solve a crime one at a time. Oh, that rhymed, actually. you still got a lot to learn. Right. <clears throat>
logs. How come these kidnapping cretins knew that the bag thingies? Shots. Yeah, thank you, Detective Sergeant. Bag shots. Warrior plugs. I have no idea. Could someone in the family be in on it? Childless. I checked. It can't just be a fluke, though, right? Last night's activities must have been planned well in advance. And they came this way, right? We think so. Here's where we found Tullock. I mean, otherwise we would have seen him in action. So, someone is stealing and transporting industrial farm machinery and selling it all around here. I think it could be international, big business. Which explains why they would go to such great lengths to actually kill people and kidnap others. Exactly. But what would any of this have to do with Beach? I mean, let alone Amy. Arrests. Beach arrested people, didn't he? Charged them, ticketed them. So can we see if Beach arrested the uh, bag... Bag shots. Thank you. I can check, yeah. Good. <clears throat> and uh, Roy. Do you know where Roy was when he was taken? Well, we don't know, but he went this way. Anybody there? <clears throat> yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah. You were right. Beach arrested the bagshots and charged them with disturbing the peace outside of a pub. They were rowing about each other snoring. Maybe it was him that told them to get the earplugs. So he's identifying targets. Well, he was everywhere and he knew everything. He would have known which farmers leave what where. What did you say these machines were called? Articulated loaders. I think I know what the lists are about. So? A-L, articulated loader. C-H, combine harvester. T, tractor. Is there a P for Porsche? What's all this about Porsche? One got stolen. Tullock's on here. And the numbers, I mean, coordinates, map references. So Beach was locating machinery that could be stolen and passing that information on. But to whom? Someone with a big truck. Hang on, you had a text. What did your text say? Uh. Do anything and he's dead, man. Missing an A. Mm. Well, I thought that was just a typo, but... Maybe, but... Could be how Cesare and Titian speak. And they have a truck. Good point. Help! Let me out! Help! Have a casual word with this Fiona woman. Plenty of little nooks and crannies around here that someone could easily hide, Rory. She's definitely not a fan of the brothers. Oh, really? Because they've been thieving stock for a while. Well, do they have any kind of criminal record? No. We check them out along with all the other employees here. Any way we could track their movements in and out of the country? I can contact the passport office. Good. You do that. You two, stay here.
The press have been in touch. Oh, you should have called me. Didn't your husband say? I said it helped field the press for him. He used to work in that area. He didn't mention anything. East of our worries, the bank have been in touch too. Oh dear, what did they want? What do you think? Money. I thought the businesses were thriving. This one is. Husband around? He is firefighting at the other stores. Sorry. Can this wait? As you can see, I'm a little busy. Could I just have a quick word about your uh, outhouses and storage facilities uh, and your property? Who has access to them? Uh, we sort of leave the storage to the Martian yaks. You know, Polish boys. Uh, sorry. I need to have a word with them before I head into town. Excuse me. The Martinek brothers, Polish nationals. Yes, please. Thank you. So, Tony, about... Yeah? Well, about... Uh, Agatha. Agatha? Yeah, um, what she like to work for. Oh, uh, impossible. Kind of cool. You're very good, you know. You're going to pursue it long term? Working for the Agster? I doubt it. Probably just a phase I'll grow out of. You could always do it professionally. You could do a lot worse than join the force. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Are you serious? Do you think? I do. Bill? Yeah? Look, about... And she's not around, and his good lady wife is just about to toodle off into town, which gives us a perfect opportunity for a bit of a, a walk around. Did I interrupt something? No. no. Oi, oi. What's this one up to? Right, now's our chance. Like, Tony, I want you to distract the other brother, give Bill and I a little bit of an opportunity to check out those outhouses. How do I do that? Seriously? How do I do that? Tony, you flirt. Just like you did the other day. Why didn't you know you might be a murderer then? What other day? It was nothing. Not enough to erase your memory. Well, go on then. <gasps> off you go. Tootle off. Hop it. Romeo? What flirting? Yakshima. What? Hi. Hi. Why the hurry? I need this done for Miss Richards. Focus. Stop worrying. She likes you. Are you sure? I'm sure. Just. Not now. Boy. Boy. Any luck? No, nothing. <gasps> so, mister, why did you ask about our village? Are you were uh, going to come visit? Is that why? I'd, uh, I'd, I'd really like that. Can I be honest? Please. I'm gay. And it's your friend I like. Ah, oh, Roy. Yep. Was too shy to talk to him. Now. He really liked you too. Really? Yeah. Got it, yeah. What, 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 what is it? 
passport office confirmed that the Martinek brothers have been on regular trips in and out of the country. Tony. I, I, I think she's got it covered. All right, I have to go. You have to go. So I'm not wrong. You should be easy, Davai. Davai, she will save us. Yes, Wong, Evesham Police. Stay where you are, please. Roy? What's all this? Aid for refugees. Well, thank you. That's very much appreciated. OK. We gather the nations. We store them here and then take them abroad. Why didn't you say? We thought you wouldn't be happy. We would lose our jobs. And then we'll have to go home and we wouldn't be able to help refugees. So you weren't stealing stock? No. It was Amy. She even tried to sell someone to us. To make money to leave. She was lonely after marriage and wanted to start everything again. Why did you ask about Carsley? Because we haven't asked for donation there yet. And, uh, Cesare likes you. Oh, can, can we stop it with all this lovey-dovey shtick? So you two didn't send me a text? No. no. Well, whoever did either made a simple grammatical error or a very convenient grammatical error, which made us think that it was you. Where's your husband right now? Because I've just called all the other stores and he's not at any of them. Well, that's what he told me. Right. And how come all those other stores are failing when this one is doing so remarkably well? Because Bunchy filled it with different stock. I've no idea why. Clothes, furniture, all sorts of tap from abroad. How does he transport the stock from abroad? He has a fleet of trucks. And do you know where he keeps this fleet of trucks? Yes. <laughs> They need to transport the machinery out the country as fast as possible. So what does he do? He takes days out. He says he's visiting the other stores when in actual fact he's abroad doing a cheeky little handover. In return for cash or alternate items. A beach was his spotter for the machinery. But where does this Porsche fit in? I mean, who? Just don't, don't you give me that. You, you didn't want my PR advice, did you? You just, you wanted to know what I was up to. So just you tell me, where's Roy? Thank you. Scott, go with her. Scott, come on, man. Go on. Roy? Roy? What have you done with him? Have you killed him as well as Beach? I didn't kill anyone. I mean, what do you think I am? Oh, you... Oh, you don't want to know. If you didn't, who did? Come on. Who did? All right, all right. It's a, it's a gang we smuggled to. Beach got too big for his boots. He, he went solo, traded a Porsche. And the, the gang, 
They weren't happy. He, he needed to be taught a lesson. It was a warning. What about Amy? I, I don't know. You've got plenty of time to figure that out down at the station. Oh. Come on. Would you just, just, just Come on. hang on a roly mo? Something's not quite right here. Why are you so nervous? Hmm? Why do you think he's so nervous, Constable Tuller? Eh? What does your lowlander instinct tell you? My instincts tell me we've got him bang to rights. But have we, though? You just let him go, just for a second, please. I don't think he's going to be going anywhere. Why didn't you file a report in the missing Porsche when you said you did? Bill told me. I mean, why would you do that unless course, you didn't want to investigate it. Slipped my mind. Didn't want Bill thinking I'd forgotten. Oh, yes, of course. The wrath of Bill. He's a fearsome creature, isn't he? He was in charge of the investigation. Ooh, I think I might have touched a little nerve there. How did that make you feel? Hmm? You being passed over time and time again for promotion, eh, constable? Is she mad? Quite possibly, but she's normally right. And you know another thing that just doesn't sit quite right? It's the accent. The Dumfries accent. It just doesn't, well, <laughs> sound that Dumfries to me. And you tell me another thing. What genuine lowlander would give a fellow lowlander a bottle of whiskey from the Highlands? Is this a joke? No, this is not a joke. And you need to get that into your thick granite head. You know, the one that was whacked from behind with a stone that barely left a mark. You faked that, didn't you? So that we wouldn't see what was up ahead in the road. Which was Bunchy here with his loaders. Mm, not a very good bodyguard either, were we? I mean, you left your post at the first sign of a noise. I went to see what was going on. You know, I don't think you did kill anyone. But I think you, you did kidnap Roy. Well, this one here was pretending to distract everyone, being whacked in the back of the head, rolling about, flailing on the floor. Now, if you really want to help yourself, I would suggest that now is a very good time to do that. Easy, Billy. He told me to do it. Utter nonsense. So, as well as being the Scottish brawn, he is also the brains of it. Yeah, yeah he, he knows who leaves what machinery where. He brought in Beach. Kid, he was with Beach the night the Snorers were arrested. He knew that your business was in trouble. He knew that you were strapped for cash and that you had trucks. But Beach, he stole that Porsche, didn't he? He was off going solo and you couldn't have that, could you? She's right, isn't she, Billy? And what would you know about it, Sergeant Wong? Always so busy studying for your stupid sergeant's exams. Who gives up? We do. And you tell me, what was Amy's part in this? Silly cow. Figured out I was in cahoots with her ex-husband to try to blackmail me. For cash. And what proud Scott would do that. I know. Because you're a bit chippy, aren't you? You're like me. You don't like being second best. Sick of losing, aren't you? Sick of people lording it over me. Sick of people thinking that they're better than me when they're not. I saw an opportunity. I took it. So you tell me then, what have you done with my friend, Roy? I wanted to say that I'm sorry. 
No need. Uh, yes, there is. Agatha seemed to think that perhaps you were, um, you know. Mm. Well, it turns out that she can be wrong about some things. Anyway, truth be told, you're way, way too good for me. In every sense. Well, I do hope we can be friends. Yes, I'd like that. And I'm really sorry to hear about Jez. Yeah, me too. But I'm not waiting. I'm thinking I might apply to become a vicar. Really? That's great. Congratulations. Cesare asked me on a date. Oh, really? Great. I said no. Oh, really? Great. Actually, there's something I want to ask you. Go for it. Do you want... I mean, only if you want... Do you want me to give you some driving lessons? <laughs> what? Only you. I'm a good teacher. OK. <laughs> yeah, I'd, um, I'd really like that. like it's just me and you again, Roy. Speak for yourself. Hi. You know what? So am I. May I interest everyone in a cheeky little mulled wine? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 